Hi there, my name is Richard McMunn from the Police Officer Recruitment Training website howtobecome.com and in this tutorial I am going to teach you how to pass the new Police Officer Competency Based Video Interview. So if you are applying to become a Police Officer, as always please make sure you stay tuned and watch this presentation fully from beginning to end because this is what I'm going to cover to help you. I will give you an overview of the police officer competency-based online video interview and also what is involved. I will give you example police officer interview questions. I will give you tips on how to answer those questions and also two sample answers to help you succeed. And finally, I will then also tell you about further free resources you can get access to right now to help you pass the tough police officer recruitment selection process. So four reasons why you should stay tuned and watch this presentation from beginning to end. Now, just very quickly, before I get into the training, a very warm welcome to this police officer recruitment training tutorial. My name is Richard McMunn. That is me there in the center of the screen. I've been helping people for over 15 years now to become police officers. And I always do that by giving you great top tips and also sample questions and answers. On that basis, please make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the training videos I upload. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video. And please also give the video a like because if I see you liking the content, I will create more for you. If you have any questions about any aspect of the police officer recruitment process, please put them in the comments section below the video and I will come on here each day and answer them for you. Let's get into the training. So what is the police officer competency-based video interview? Well, during the selection process, you will have to undertake an online competency-based video interview where you will be asked a series of five questions, one at a time. Now, each interview question will include points that you should consider in your answer. Now, you will see a pre-recorded video of the question being posed and then you will see both the interview question and some additional probing questions as text on the screen. So how long is the police officer video competency based interview? Well, although the interview is not conducted in real time, you do have a time limit for presenting your answers. So you will have one minute to prepare your answer and then five minutes, a five minute window in which you must record your answer in full. So you are not able to pause your answer or re-record it. So it's important that we prepare fully for this. So how will you be assessed during the police officer competency-based video interview? Well, a police interview will focus heavily on the core competencies that are required to be an effective police officer. And each question will be focused around one of the following competencies or values. So the values are on the left, and they are integrity, public service and transparency. And the core competencies are on the right, which is taking ownership and also being innovative and open minded. Now, all of the questions will be situational based. Now, this means that you will need to give a detailed account of when you have demonstrated the behavior being asked. So here's a really important tip. How do you pass the police officer video interview? Well, my advice is to structure your answers using the STAR technique. And that is situation, task, action, result. So when you are preparing your answers, think to yourself, I will first of all tell them the situation that I was in. I will then outline the task that needed to be done. I will then go into detail about the action that I took and the action other people took who were perhaps involved in the situation. And finally, I will finish off and reveal the results following my actions. So get to understand and learn the STAR technique. So let's take a look at a couple of example police officer competency-based video interview questions and suggested answers using the STAR technique. So let's have a look at question number one. Tell us about a time when you have taken responsibility for resolving a difficult problem. Now, because we know what the core competencies are, we can see straight away that the competency being assessed here is taking responsibility. Let me show you my sample answer 
to this police officer interview question that utilises the STAR technique. So tell us about a time when you've taken responsibility for resolving a difficult problem. Here we go. In my previous job, I was working on a project with four other team members. Unfortunately, two weeks before the project deadline, two members of the team went off sick. The project was now in jeopardy of failing. As a responsible employee and a team member, I knew it was my responsibility to take ownership of the situation to get the project finished on time and to the necessary standard. I approached the managers of two different departments within the organisation to ask them if they could spare any members of staff for a 14-day period. Thankfully, they agreed to give me one member of staff per department. I then spent four hours one evening after work training up the two new team members on the project brief and the standards expected before giving them set tasks to complete by a specified timescale. Throughout the remaining 14-day period, I checked their work and I supported them fully. At the end of the project deadline, we managed to successfully complete the project on time and to the required standard through determination, collaboration and hard work. Now you'll notice there that I've used the STAR technique, Situation, Task, Action, Result. It enables my response to be structured and also detailed. Don't forget, you have to give a specific situation you have been, you have been in previously based around the question or the competency being assessed. Do not fall into the trap of telling them what you would do in that kind of situation. It's important that you give a specific scenario, a previous scenario. Now, don't go anywhere because I still have one more question to run through. And once I've finished that, I'm going to give you free access to my insider's guide for passing the new online police officer assessment process. So here's question two before I give you access to that. Can you give me an example of a time when you have taken on board feedback to improve your performance? Now, the competency being assessed here is clearly being innovative and open minded. So here's my suggested answer using the STAR technique. In my current job, I have six monthly performance reviews with my supervisor. At the end of the last review, my supervisor asked me to improve my performance whilst dealing with customer complaints via telephone. It was my responsibility to listen to her feedback, take notes, and then look for ways to improve in the specific area identified. I decided to enrol onto an online course via the website udemy.com. The course was entitled Brilliant Customer Service, How to Impress Your Customers. And it covered the most effective way to deal with difficult and aggressive customers. I spent the next four weeks studying the course in my spare time at home and I made sure I fully completed each module competently. At the end of the course, I started to implement what I had learned in my daily work whilst dealing with customers and complaints. My supervisor called me into her office a week later to inform me she had noticed a marked improvement in the way I dealt with customer complaints, which was very pleasing to hear. So you can see there once again that by getting into practice of using situation, task, action, result, you will be able to give concise, detailed answers of how you have achieved the competency being assessed. Now, of course, you are going to want to prepare fully for your police officer assessment process, whether it's a situational judgment test, a briefing exercise, also the police officer competency based video. So the next thing to do is to click that link in the top right hand corner of this video. It will go through to my website at howtobecome.com and you can download that guide for free. So it's an insider's guide for passing the new police officer assessment process. It will help you prepare fully. Lots of great content in there. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. We have over 300,000 people now within our community and lots of you are passing your interviews and getting your jobs, getting the jobs of your dreams, which is great to hear. Don't forget to like the video as well. And if you do have any questions, put them in the comment section below and I will answer them for you. Thank you for watching. Have a brilliant day and I wish you all the best for becoming a police officer.